I'm Ryan Noakes. I've been using Tableau for over 10 years and I was kind of an early adopter of the software and I've been using it really ever since. I didn't expect it at the time to define my career the way it has, but, uh, but it's been great. I love the software. I use it all the time. I'm very comfortable getting it to uh, analyze data, bring data together from a variety of sources, look at trends, look at segments or benchmarks, look at mapping. And I wanted to show you an example here as you're interested in maps of showing, uh, looking at home values and recessions uh, over time and how that's affected. And you'll be able to see both the time series, a map, some drill down, some benchmarks information, a dual axis map where we're layering things together. So you'll notice here as I, uh, as I, as I start this, we can see recessions uh, are going up here. The home values better set are going up, you know, and even though there's a recession here, home values continue to climb. We see that the, the line changes color here as, as home values become, uh, become just higher. So as we, we go uh, here, then you'll see then we peak and then, uh, then things start to, to drop here during the recession. And although the recession officially ends in 2009, the housing recovery doesn't actually begin to turn around until February 2012. So that's an interesting finding as we see that home values continue to slide here and then we start to pick back up here through the end. Now you'll notice here the map is updating as we go with our with our time series. So watch the map now. You'll see here home values. Then you know we hit the recession, we peak, we drop. Okay, then they start to recover. Okay, and if I were to do that slower, you'd see that uh, you'd see that uh, you know more pronounced in the recession. All of the map starts to skew more this way. And as we have progressed over time, then it starts to heat up. Now, let's say I wanted to drill into a particular segment. Let's say I want to look at Texas. Well, then I've got Texas here and I can see every city overlaid on the state of Texas, as well as some benchmarks for the entire state. But what if I want to drill in and say, OK, well, like what's my median home value in Boulevard in Boulevardy, Texas? OK, at 354, that's much higher than my state average. So we can see that even though there is a recession going on, there's uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of variation amidst cities and amidst regions, uh, even within a given given area. So these are the kinds of insights and analysis that I can do in Tableau. We can animate things, we can compare against segments, we can have benchmarks and insightful tooltips. We can use maps, and uh, we can we can make the insights that you're looking for pop off the page or pop off the screen. So again, I'm Ryan Noakes. I'd love to work with you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.